a lot of times, a lot of places that we operate, it's, it's tough to see where we operate. It's tough to make us out either in the fields uh, or even when you're up beside businesses, it doesn't look a whole lot different than, than the activities around it. They've been very good neighbors. We um, have been very pleased. You know, they let us know what they're gonna do and check with us, make sure that's all right, and um, have just done a great job of, of taking care of everything. I think you set the tone of being a good neighbor when you drill the well, when you complete your well, and, and it's up to the production group, you know, to continue that good relationship with the homeowners, with the church, you know, because we're going to be here hopefully for 20 or 30 years. So, you know, we want to keep that relationship good. So we're going to we're going to try everything we can to be a good neighbor. Drilling and completing an oil and gas well is very similar to you building your house. It goes in steps. We have the well drilled and now we're starting the completion process. For the Barnett shell, it is a very solid, dense rock and to, for it to produce the natural gas out of that rock you have to fracture stimulate and that is nothing more than pumping water and sand at high pressure and it creates cracks in the rock and that releases the gas from the rock and it flows through those cracks back into the well bore and to the surface and that allow these wells to produce for seven eight ten multiple years there are numerous precautions that are used in fracture stimulation where this process does not in any way harm the environment around these wells. There are multiple layers of protection that are in place from steel casing to cement around the casing uh, that maintains that fracture stimulation just within the formation. We have techniques and technology that allows us to actually listen and hear where the rock is cracking so we know that the fracture stimulation stays within the barnet. So fracture stimulation is an absolute very environmentally friendly technique for producing natural gas. Wattenberg Field is one of the largest oil and gas fields in the onshore U.S. Without hydraulic fracturing it would have been dead after its first 10 years. Hydraulic fracturing actually isn't a new technique. It's been around for dec decades. However, we do continue to improve it. All of the completions we do now are fracked. They're all hydraulically fractured. Um, Without those completions, this field would have been dead long ago. All the activity, all of the jobs out here uh, wouldn't exist if we couldn't hydraulically fracture these wells. What we have here is a recycling site. After the, we frack the wells, the fracture stimulation, pumping water and sand into the well bores, we produce that water back out of that well. It is pumped in as fresh, clean, fresh water, but it picks up some contaminants while it's in the well bore, primarily salt. So one of the things we are doing as a company is bringing it back to a recycle facility. And we run it through the recycle facility, remove the salts, remove any of the other impurities, and what you see over here is clean, actually distilled water, clean, pure water. And then this water can be used and taken to another frack job and reused. So we're recycling the frack water that we're using on these wells. If you're not recycling the water, the one of the things that the industry has used is after that water is produced back from the well bores after a fracture stimulation, that water is taken by truck to a water dis disposal well and it, it is pumped into a formation uh, well below the earth. In addition to that, uh, we've introduced horizontal drilling that has really increased the size of the Barnett Shell area that can be productive in the future. We're going to be drilling three wells, three horizontal Barnett Shell wells off this pad. This will drain about four to five hundred uh, acres of minerals, but we're doing this all from this small four acre pad site. The horizontal technology not only has it allowed us to extract the natural gas from, from this formation, but if you can see around us, we have numerous houses. And on this particular site behind us, we actually have eight wells. And these eight wells create basically a, a wagon wheel effect coming out from this single location, producing gas from underneath all these houses in an area that's maybe six, 800 acres in size. And we're able to do it from a single location. So horizontal technology uh, allows you to get into places and recover natural gas reserves in a large area without disturbing much of that area at the surface. We're drilling uh, 14 wells on the pad that'll develop almost a, a full half of a square mile. They'll reach out two to 3,000 feet, so almost a, a half mile away from where we're standing is actually where the, the primary target is, where we reach out and where the production comes from. 
That puts it out behind us. We've got a lake, we've got several houses, we've got ranch land. That allows us to get in here with the least disturbance to these neighborhoods. To help in our operations to be less intrusive in the surrounding neighborhood, we have some sound walls. And these, these are walls that, that we have put up. They were put up initially prior to the drilling rig ever getting here. So we minimize the amount of noise we make during the, the drilling and completion process. Once this job is done and we finish completing these wells, then those walls, all this equipment, will basically be gone in, a, in, a, in just a couple of weeks. We brought in electric power in order to, to keep the location quiet. All of our pumps and a lot of the equipment are ran off electricity. And being on a golf course, we wanted to keep things a lot quieter in the area. We actually had to work very closely with the developer here. The golf course was operating at the time we came in. Went through several different versions of different plans in order to come up with something that worked well for both us and for them. Came up with a very successful solution. There were no surprises. We knew exactly what they were going to do. We have a share of it, so we got division orders to sign and send back in. We've had just a very positive experience. On locations like this one, the state actually owns a por portion of the royalties. A couple of the wells on this location are actually drilled under the state park that borders it on the other side of this, this pad. Revenues from those royalties go back in, help maintain the, the state park that's there. Got a series of lakes, nice campgrounds, uh, picnic areas. Since completing that activity, we've graded it back out, actually contoured it to the landowner's specifications. Next step then is to come in and reseed it. The grass will go back in, we plant native grasses to match the surroundings. Within two to three years, this will look a lot like the hillsides behind us. When we're done with the major operations, after drilling finishes, after completion finishes, we really don't take up much space. The, the wells are really tough to make out in the cornfields because really they just take up a, a few square feet. There are numerous shell rocks throughout the nation. The Barnett right now is producing about 7% of the nation's gas that it is currently using. There are projections that the shales rocks within the country and within the nation can produce up to 40 to 50 percent of our needs in the, in the future. There's a, a lot of room to learn from different operations, uh, whether it's operating here in Colorado, in Wyoming, in Texas. We're learning all the time. We're applying that. We do things differently even than we were a couple years ago. We'll continue to learn from that and we'll apply it for future developments so that we make sure we're, we're developing places like the Marcellus Shale in Pennsylvania as responsibly, as concerned for the environment, and as efficiently as possible. It's been a very good relationship. With today's technology, we are only recovering about 20% of the natural gas in place on this location in a period of time. Future technology and the evolving technology, and I think fracture stimulation will play a big part of that, Future fracture stimulations in these existing well bores will increase that recovery and provide some, some reserves. This is the best that we know how to do at this time. We're continuing to grow. Things will continue to improve. We're working to do the best we can all the time.